She has moved on from her marriage with Chris Martin and tied the knot with Brad Falchuk in September of last year. And Gwyneth Paltrow melted the hearts of her followers, as she took to her Instagram platform with a sweet snap alongside her first mother-in-law Alison Martin and her current mother-in-law, Nancy Falchuk. The actress, 46, couldn't wipe the smile from her face as she praised her company while celebrating all the women in her life during International Women's Day. Gwyneth sweetly captioned the snap, The beauty on my left is my mother-in-law, hashtag Nancy Falchuk. The beauty on my right is my first mother-in-law, hashtag Alison Martin. On International Women's Day, I want to express my gratitude for all of the women in my life. I love the women in my life. You are nurturers, powerhouses, brainiacs, sisters, comedians all in one. When we are sisters to each other, miracles happen. Gwyneth and Chris tied the knot in 2003, but later announced their separation, telling fans they were consciously uncoupling in 2014. Their divorce was finalized two years later in 2016. The Oscar-winning actress went has since gone on to find love with Brad, with the pair first meeting on the set of Glee, which Falchuk co-created with Ryan Murphy, before going public with their relationship in April 2015. The couple announced their engagement in January 2017 and tied the knot in the Hamptons in September 2018. Meanwhile, Gwyneth recently predicted that psychedelic drugs will be the next big thing in health, during an interview with The New York Times on Wednesday. I think how psychedelics affect health and mental health and addiction will come more into the mainstream, the Oscar winner forecast. The Say 7 and actress also took credit for the increasing popularity of gluten-free diets during the sit-down. I mean, when I did my gluten-free cookbook in 2015, the press was super negative and there were personal attacks about what I was feeding my children and what kind of mother I am, began Gwyneth. Now the gluten-free market is huge, she concluded.